Hello friends, it's Prajul Patek this side and you are watching my YouTube channel PyGuru. Friends, today in this tutorial we are going to learn about a sky art rendering using Python. Okay. See, uh, sometimes it may happen that you are building some command line games or application and you might need to have some good user interface or starting or ending interfaces. So in that case, uh, instead of just printing normal text, okay, like uh, game is uh, game start or game end uh, you might need to use uh, some kind of art to make the user uh, more uh, engrossed in your application so in that case you can use a library of python or a simple module of python uh, pypiglet module to render such kind of arts so in this tutorial we will be learning about pypiglet module so first of all we have to install it it's not available by default so what you have to do just open it in your command prompt so let me open my command prompt open uh, and get connected with internet and type pip install pyfiglet pyfiglet okay and press enter and it will install pyfiglet on the system see i have already installed it so i will get a requirement already satisfied message but on the system it will already get installed okay see i am getting a requirement already satisfied message it means that i have already installed it okay now let's move towards uh, using it so using it is actually very easy just first of all import this figlet module so instead of importing the whole module we need uh, only one class of this module that is uh, type from pi figlet import uh, there's a class called figlet we have to uh, import this okay and now what we are going to do we are going to create a very simple function and the name of the function will be def render okay so my function name is render what it will do it will take a text from the user sorry text from the user and uh, what it will do uh, let's just say print slash n multiplied by 10 so it will create just 10 new lines and then finally print this text that the user passes okay so let's try running this function so to run a function first we have to call it so to call simply type the function name and pass the argument value see here it's taking one parameter so we have to we have to pass one argument here and let's say my uh, text will be hello world okay and let's just run this program in sublime text 3 and it will what it will do it will simply oh, oops my fault i just put a slash n here okay and let's say let's again run it <clears throat> what it will do see it's just simply creating 10 new lines and printing this hello world okay so this uh, looks kind of boring if you are making some game and you just type uh, 10 new lines and type uh, game start or game end so instead of doing what you are going uh, to do we are going to create a kind of art using this figlet module so again what you are, what you have to do just create a object of this class or instance of this class we will give this name as f equals how to create an instance of a class simply type the instance name simply it will be a variable in my case it's f you can give it any name equals to then this class name and just uh, give this parenthesis okay now finally what we are going to do instead of just uh, printing text we have to do one more thing uh, on this f instance we can apply a method called render text okay and inside this just pass this text that the user is passing and let's again run the whole program and you will see this normal text will get <coughs> will get something like this see it's saying hello world but is in a kind of art ASCII art okay so what is ASCII first of all ASCII stands for American Standard Code for Information Interchange now uh, normal ASCII text is uh, A to Z values okay um, but basically what we have did here we have used the several symbols of the, our keyboard to make the same word hello world printed on our screen so see there's some kind of unusual thing that's happening in sublime text 3 that is this pink lines okay and i do not want it uh, so what we are going to do we are simply going to run this uh, program that we have just created in command line or command prompt so to run a file in command prompt it's very easy just go to the folder where you have saved your python file so i have saved my python file here in this folder and my file name is this thing ASCII art so I'm just going to run it in command prompt how to run it simply go to the, your address bar clear all stuff and type cmd press enter it will open command prompt and then here type your file name so my name was um, file name was ASCII art so I'll simply type as and press tab and it will get auto completed file name will get auto completed and press enter and it will print hello world on the system in a formatted beautiful beautiful formatted uh, text okay see it's saying hello world now it is a default value okay uh, figlet supports lots of values and i'm going to show you some of the uh, supported values by figlet uh, supported arts uh, by figlet okay so we are just going to do the same thing 
and so instead of see leaving it empty what we can do uh, we can ask user one more thing a style see now uh, there are a lot of styles supported by figlet so we are just going to ask the user to pass a style value to and here uh, see if you leave leave it empty its default format or default art is this thing okay it's printing hello world it's beautiful but there are a few more styles that you can offer and what you have to do here just go here and type font equals style okay just do this thing now user have to pass two values a text and the style so let's me just show you several styles supported by uh, figlet module so the first style is slant uh, we have already saw our default to use the default you have to leave this uh, class or this parenthesis empty so just save it and again run the same command in command prompt so let me just go run the same command in command prompt okay see if you have run certain command above here and you want to run the same command here just press the up arrow key and it will just copy this whole thing here okay and let's just press enter see now it's the uh, you can say the art has slightly changed and it becomes slant or italic here okay and let's just pass another value here or another <coughs> style here now which is 3d so just save it and let's again run the same uh, value here uh, same file here so see it's uh, this time it's kind of three-dimensional art okay so hello world hope uh, i hope you are understanding what is uh, what is rendering here basically uh, the uh, fonts are quite smaller so it may <coughs> not be visible to you very clearly but don't worry you can run on your system and you can see how beautiful it is okay now let's move to the another uh, format or style which is 3 cross 5 okay so just type 3 cross 5 here and let's press enter and see it's also hello world rendering hello world but in a different beautiful format okay then the next is uh, 5 line oblique so just type 5 line oblique save it and it will not be 3 okay 5 line oblique and just run the same file again and it will print hello world in this beautiful format okay so you can use these uh, formats to uh, make beautiful UIs for your games okay suppose you have if you are making tic tac toe game or quiz game or any game in command line you can uh, use this uh, text as interface for your game okay so this is how you can do it and let me show you some more uh, styles supported alphabet okay and let's just press enter uh -huh. see uh, now it's using these alphabets to write the same text uh, h uh, for h the the it's using h for e it's using e for l it's using l like this okay and let's pass another style which will be banner 3d so banner 3 dash capital d okay so let's just run the again same same file again and see it's saying hello world but in a more beautiful format okay so you can use this uh, uh in your games so let's see another one d o h okay which is for do and press enter and it's saying hello world but only pressing the l d okay uh, let me see where is the rest of the text see it's here hello and world so let me just maximize it so it's only printing three things over time okay so hello world okay so keep in mind it will increase your font size okay doh will increase your font size so this thing you should have keep in mind and let's see isometric one and let's run again the same file and let's see the render text now it's saying hello world and it's look more beautiful this time okay <coughs> you can uh, it's actually very beautiful so why am i showing you all this because in the next video or the next tutorial i'll be making a simple quiz game and there we'll be using this thing okay that's why this time i'm showing you so let's see another uh, one uh, which will be dot matrix and let's just run it and let's see uh, what happens uh, okay so it's also beautiful it's saying hello world in this format okay looks like bubble kind of thing and let's see another one which is bubble and let's run it uh -huh. uh, it's saying hello world okay like this okay no problem and 
and let's see one another one which was bulb head i am not sure about this one so let's try running it i may get an error uh, if it's not supported okay but it's there hello world okay it's also beautiful uh, it's bulb head okay keep in mind bulb head and the final one that i know is or is digital so you can use this digital one uh, style okay so these are all the styles that i know so okay so so far i have shown you 15 uh, font styles and one default style that you can use it figlet module okay so these are the style that you can use to make your game user interface more beautiful and interactive to the user okay so i uh, i hope that you <coughs> uh, learned this something from this tutorial and if you like this video leave a like if you dislike this video leave a dislike if you are new to my channel subscribe it thank you see you in the next video keep in mind now we will be using this figlet module to make a game a simple quiz game uh, okay and there we will be using this user interface so for now okay uh, see you in the next video thank you